you? Okay. Made it. Made it. Nightfall. Top of the Rock Empire State Building. Can I show you how it works? No, no, I gotta go. No, no, no. Huh? No, it's okay. I gotta go. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Wait, 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 wait. How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. I guess. <laughs> I guess that works. Okay. <sighs> Let it me show you. It's Thursday, June 20th. It's almost the end of June, but we've got one more week. I'm not sure. One more week of June. Matter of fact, one week from today is the presidential election today. held indoors, today. no audience, not and election. Today. you can only Quickly. speak during your time, and then when your time's over, mute. <laughs> so it's going to be, I think, it's fantastic. I, I think that's going to be a good thing, I guess. So. Uh, the sun's coming up earlier. There's heat waves. There's fires. There's sharks. Gas. The uh, crime. And I hope you I included that clip. New York. My heaven. Uh, friend. Heaven. No, it's called New York. Uh, my friend's there for for a bit. And wow. Okay, just doing too much. I'm just gonna make this kind of just just make it easy, man. Just, I'm just stressing too much here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have presidential debate pretty soon. Debate. Cool, whatever. Debate. And then, Not um, election. Debate. stuff <laughs> going on. I forgot to make notes. But, anyways, um, here's, but, you know, there's stuff in Hawaii, so let's look at this. Let's check out Hawaii news, right? Oh. Yeah. There's um outages in downtown. Um oh, I didn't pull this up. Just a second. To your right, devil. There. I, to the Hawaiian news. Ready? Set. Go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> outages. One more time. There's an outage. So this is the yeah. Okay. This is the second outage in Chinatown, and. I don't think they've got it. It was still like, well, I think they were supposed to have the power on last night at midnight. So it was like all day, all into the night. Businesses in Chinatown are, are like, oh, we're going to lose our, all our stuff. Because they're like food places. Not all of us. COVID is still around. And people are wearing masks. I know I go to some. Okay, already, ghost tube. Okay, uh, I go to like some appointments and stuff, and indoors there's masks, there's people, there's masks, there's kind of crowded places. Watch out! It, it, I mean, I thought I almost got it, but you know, I got vaxxed up the axe, X. Ah. and so you know, like there's like sniffles, and I thought, am I coming down or something? And then it, it went away because vaxxed out. But there is still something if you never got facts, just in case. And there's golf. Um, yay, I guess. And more golf. And still more golf. You know what? Just, it's, it's Thursday. Just relax. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, oh. Uh, 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 let me just say something. Yeah, yesterday was Juneteenth. And I looked up Juneteenth. Like, what the heck is it? I knew it had something to do with the, the slavery thing. Okay, it commemorates the end of slavery. But why Juneteenth, right? Because I can't talk. there was a civil war, Emancipation Proclamation, 1864. It's done, right? Proclamation, it's over. That's my understanding. Well, apparently, 
Uh, slaves in Texas. The last of the slaves were in Texas were told that they were free to go on June 19th in 1864. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and no, not, well, basically, uh, when the slaves in Texas were told they were free, it was two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation. So it's like, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, your slave, the slaves are all free to go. You're free. You're emancipated. In two and a half years, they still have slaves in Texas, and they're finally told that they can go. So it was the last of the ones. That's why. And why Texas took two and a half years? I, it's Texas. That's <laughs> what they do. And, uh, you know, just for nice. back in the day. Ooh, ooh. Back in 1961, you were to relax, just go to the National Park and sit on the sign. I kind of remember National Park touring when I was a kid. It's a good thing to do. Go to National, National Park when you're a kid. So here's Ranger Mall Henrik and his family. So it's the Ranger's family. Oh, we meet. Dad, we got to live in the park. Live here. Where are Fred? Mus Maui's Haleakala National Park on July 1st officially became the 30th such a separate park in the system so it's a national park I didn't even know I, don't, I don't guess so you go up to the top of Haleakala though you get out and stand up and you can't walk from like here to here very fast you'll just go out of breath there's like no air <laughs> if you walk from here to here like regular walking do, 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 I'll say <gasps> yeah you gotta watch it okay that's more no not more golf oh look word for the day. Oh, the word, Japanese word for the day. Kapu, Kapu seru, seru toy. toy. Kapu seru toy. Yes, Kapu seru toy. A <laughs> the heck? A small toy enclosed in a plastic capsule sold via vending machine, a term also used to refer to the vending machine. Kapu seru toy. Small. It's a little. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Okay. Thank you. Japanese um, fox word of the day, dog. Okay. Oh, political cartoon. Look, Biden debate. Ditch Speed. debate. Debate Biden. Ditch Biden debate. Oh, this famous. Oh, uh, I got to choose between a shock and being electrocuted in a sinking boat. Shock or electrocution? Shock or? Ah, oh, uh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it's gonna come down. Dude, they're gonna be I think they're gonna they should do live fact check on that too <laughs> so, oh boy uh, Palestine's nepotism threatens better future Trump's social isolation okay let's let's do something a little let wild folks by mobile that looks good <laughs> I didn't vet these at all nepotism threatens a better future for Hawaii a deep-rooted practice of nepotism. And, you know, so when you're telling you, like, your friends and relatives, yeah? And the, mm, anime. Has stifled many an island society and may well do the same in Hawaii. Not hiring the best person available for a job reduces the overall performance and output of a company, reducing productivity, morale, and engagement. Not holding all employees to the same standard breeds resentment which worsens oh, the bells. The bells. which worsen relationships between staff I'm lost <laughs> me too and management nepotism also reduces employment Him. no matter how hard you work promotion positions are capped or reserved for family members if an employee rest in peace <laughs> rest in peace employees at, work, <laughs> at the workspace if the if an employee isn't appreciated for their talents why should they stay poor corporate culture lack of diversity worsening personal relationships and potential lawsuits are also negative effects of nepotism <gasps> Perhaps the Today, most toxic consequence is youth Today. brain damage, I mean brain drain, whereby the recent graduates from 
Hawaii's colleges and universities leave. That's mine. That's fine. Leave the island based on their perception that nepotism limits their opportunity for gainful employment, stability, and promotion. PM Aziga Kakako. Thank you, PM. Um, she's. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like going crazy. <laughs> Nepotism is bad. I know. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Nepotism is bad. Uh, you think Hawaii is bad? Try Texas. That's the even worse. I, I did that in the teacher. The, the Close it. Hag. Close it. Hag. Uh, the education field in Texas too. You know, because there was the there was the housing market. The housing thing made the Great Recession in 2008, 2007. So I'm like 2007 trying to get a job. Banging my head against nothing, 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 nothing. And then, other, it's, it's a long story, but teachers being hired, they weren't hired, they don't recognize out of state teachers, you know, it's like only Texas. And in Texas, only Texas, I just thought, from your universities? I was trying to figure it out for like five years. Then I went broke over Texas. But they were, they're hiring only their friends and their relatives for the jobs because their jobs pay decent, not well. So whenever there's a job opening, they have to, by federal law, you know, give out interviews for the job. But behind the closed doors, they're just always giving it to their friends. I saw I just and personally saw that. Kitchen. I'm whining and this is going crazy. What? Okay, look. Okay, just have a happy Thursday. That's all. Bye. Look, it's it's, it's Thursday. Look, sun's gonna come out. Oh boy, it's Thursday. Aloha, dude. It's gonna be fine. No more nepotism. Okay. Okay. Aloha. Aloha to you. Bye now. Aloha.